Zena, you good? Nap time. Ooh, they changed the ball. All right, so that's interesting. Zena, you have a new ball. Do you like your new ball? Okay. The mid-wide update just came out. It is not wipe, everybody. We are halfway through. We're gonna go over things real quick. Should I do it? Zena. Zena, please, sweetheart. I'm I'm trying to work. Can you can you just can you just go? Oh wow. But I popped you right in the snout there. I'm sorry. There were a lot of bug fixes, a lot of changes that the team has been working on. I'm not going to cover all those. Check them out in the official Discord or like maybe they'll be up here or like over here or something. I don't know. There's a lot. We'll go over the key feature changes. They've added gun charms. This is for you to customize your guns even more, but also to support some of the content creators that have been helping us through the past year and a half building our community. We've also added one in memory of our colleague. The streamer charms have been added as well as a Combat Waffle Studios fallen team member. These are our new streamer charms. We'll take a quick look at them here so you can see what they all look like. Look at those. Some of those are really nice. I like them. Little secret here, Alpha Bros on the back is the Reality Rifter Loco. Shout out to the Reality Rifters like Vex and Alpha Bro. They do a lot of good work. Who do we want to try out? Who do we want? Let's grab Crawler's Juice. There will be these little white icons that you can pop these on. And now you've got a little gun charm on your gun to show your personality. So you'll find the streamer charms at Merchant of Death with all the other DLC. Slide over here to streamer charms and you'll see that we have all these fantastic cute little charms from Tanbarian, Short Stack, Scope OG, Tweak, Drive Grey Wolf VR, Timeless VR, Rage Sack, The Nullick, Lonely Viper, Crawler TV, Artificial Actor, Alpha Bro. But there's one extra charm that is not DLC and it is available here at Spectre. It's under gun attachments. You'll see charms, and there's the Rip's actual charm right here. It's this beautiful dog charm. We'll take it Pop right on there, and there it is. Look at that. That is sweet. Sorry, guys. I just got to do something real quick here. This one's for you, buddy. They've added an NRS pouch. You've been asking for it, and it is here. Carry an NRS on your vest. Easy access in the heat of battle. Added a pistol pouch. You wanted it, we delivered. Bring one more pistol on your chest and be the cowboy you always wanted to be. You get to see these new holsters right here. It's pretty sweet. The nerd's pouch. 475 TK. You'll see it's a little bit bigger than the other pouches, so we're gonna take a look here. We'll start off with some low-level rigs to get you an idea of what things will look like right at the start. So this is a little excessive, but to give you an idea of what can fit on the A22. So you could do this, you could do this with the pistol holster. Maybe you're a grenade nut and you just wanna do something like that. Now the main feature of these new modules is obviously that they fit onto your chest rigs. But there's a hidden feature that you should be aware of. Your extra gear icon slot on your hip. The nerds pouch can go there, but if you want to open it up to take out the nerds, you have to take it off and it will make that zipping noise. So it's safer to have it on your rig itself. You could have one here and you could have one on your chest. Likewise, pistol holster can also go there so you can have two you can go akimbo or you can have three pistols on your person if you want or four why limit yourself you can have four pistols nothing is stopping you i need to actually set one up for myself here so with a little creativity you can stack a lot on these rigs added turn in missions back it will give a bit more variety while waiting on the new improved missions Bear in mind, everybody, the mission rework is planned to come at the next wipe. The turn-in missions have been re-implemented. Those of you who've been playing for a long time, you'll remember the turn-in missions. Currently, there are still turn-in missions for Jiri, Minty, and the hospital. The other missions don't matter because Merchant of Death doesn't give experience anymore, and same with Merrick. Spectre and Shiro do not have any turn-in missions. So for those of you trying to power level those, sorry, you're gonna have to get better 
at killing people. The way these missions function is they are not actually active missions. You can do these passively. So your regular active missions that you have to have running in order to complete them, like kill 10 players in seven lives, that has to be running and you have to do that in those seven lives. Turn in missions, you don't have to have active. You can find these items in raid and then once you actually have them, in your hands, you can select the mission and then turn the main item in. You go over to the trade terminal here, select missions, turn in, drop the item in that you need. If an item has been found in raid, when you pick it up, it will show a little check mark on the front of your watch face. That means it is valid for turn in mission. And you can select this one. We want to turn it in and you'll see that mission has completed and we are now level three. Should note that if you are still encountering a bug where your level does not go up and it says something like 78,500 out of 75,000 and I was full, if you encounter that bug, simply go to the respective trader in the market purchase something from them and that will fix the problem. Missions move to the back end instead of local save file. This will improve the reliability of saves. No more corrupted files that prevent you from progressing. Missions will properly reset between wipes and so on. Balance grenades. We've cut the radius in half for both the heavy damage and the shrapnel reach. We also fixed an issue where armors were ignoring under some conditions. I saw one, I saw a dude on the stairs, and he sees me. Okay. Bad arc, bad arc. It's okay, it's okay. Where did he come from? Oh man, the bounce. It got him though. Did you see that? It was like ski ball. I don't care about you. Get out of here. Added the 590A1 shotgun. New gun, new fun. The pump shotgun is back. The pump action requires a little bit of extra practice. So you need to press the B button on your back controller. So that's this hand right here to disengage the pump. And then either you pump it back into place and it'll lock and you won't be able to do it. You'll need the B button again or fully chamber around like that. If you don't get the full rack, so like if you don't get it all the way and you don't chamber a full round and you pop it back, like this, nothing. And you'll have to. So it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to, but I think a lot of people are gonna have a lot of fun with this gun. In fact, we're gonna go have some fun with this gun right now. I see his friend right there. There we go. Put some in here. Look at that. That feed is pretty nice. There we go. All right. Not bad. I think I got a lucky headshot there. Oh, there he is. There he is. I see him. All right. Not bad. Hey, buddy. Greeting you. How's your friend? Nice. Preaching. Oh, and hey, look. Tanvarian's streamer item is right here. Tan's catnip. I don't think I can fit this. I can fit it. Who am I kidding? I'm the Tetris God. Dada! It's so cute. Sir? Oh, there he is. All right, let's see how far I can hit. Oh, reload, tactical reload. We got him. And it only took us, what, like 12 shots? I'm just gonna sprint at him through this tree. What's up, buddy? This dude right here. Where?
I mean, it's doing damage. It's definitely hitting them. I can't help it. I want to look at things. My brain just likes the endorphin rush of finding good loot. Ugh. Wow, armor can spawn just right here. <laughs> oh, man. Hmm. Oh, jeez. You think you're a big man with a big gun, don't you? Okay, to be fair, your gun's pretty big. So yeah, Phoenix are not omnipotent, okay? If you get shot with them really bad, it's just bad luck. Thank you for playing Ghost of Tabor. Join our Discord and connect with us at discord.gg forward slash Ghost of Tabor. Oh, physics. Object physics. See, look at that. They're solid objects. You can't put stuff through them. They're small, though, so you can you can just fit them in like you normally would. <laughs> Why are you scratching nothing? You're so annoying. I love you. You're just like my real cat. What? 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 All right, here. Oh, oh, play with it. Play with the ball. She's doing it. She's almost so close. Touch it. Touch the ball. Oh, just like a real cat.